What's going on guys, Nate here, and today I'd like to talk about Bethesda's other upcoming new game and what it could be. We know that Bethesda is currently developing two major games right now. We believe we might have information on one of them, Starfield. However, the other one, we don't know anything about. Bethesda's been very secretive about it. Please note this video is going to be highly speculative, as we have very little to go off of. It'll more or less be a series of possibilities supplemented by evidence, so take it all with a grain of salt and we're certainly not going to have any definitive answers by the end of the video. Anyway, as said before, we know that Bethesda is currently working on two major games that are not Fallout or Elder Scrolls related, but entirely fresh IPs, both set sometime before the Elder Scrolls 6. We know this thanks to Todd Howard confirming it in an interview with IGN, saying, quote, there are two, bigger than anything we have ever done kind of different projects, end quote. They're described by Howard as, again, quote, what I would call kind of different, but still the same kind of game people would associate with us. This quote leads us to suspect that they are entirely new franchises, but still open world RPGs. Additionally, at an interview during last year's game, Gamescon, Pete Hines had this to say, confirming that these new games will be out before The Elder Scrolls 6. You're probably not gonna reveal Elder Scrolls 6 right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sorry folks. And just so you know, not at the next Gamescom, and not at the one after that, and there are at, least, we'll keep asking. There are at least two <laughs> big games from Bethesda Game Studios before we get around to Elder Scrolls oh, 6. Okay. So I know how they so what are these two new games? Well, as we have discussed in previous videos, we believe we know one of them. Way back in 2013, Bethesda trademarked the rights to a new name, Starfield, and very recently, in fact just last year, Bethesda renewed and expanded upon that very trademark. If that's not enough, a user on Twitter named Tydux, who accurately predicted the announcement of Fallout 4 before it was confirmed, and to my knowledge hasn't been wrong yet with his predictions, said this in 2015. Hashtag Bethesda has a new IP in development. Release late 2017. Space Combat and planetary exploration. Not playable yet, it's an action RPG. So it seems very likely that Starfield will be one of these two titles, and may even be announced as soon as E3 2017. But Starfield is not what I want to discuss today. What's the other game? We have literally no information on it. No trademarks, no leaks, nothing. And that's very strange, because Bethesda appears to like to trademark these sorts of things early. Starfield was trademarked four years ago, and still may not be out for a while. Well, one possibility that may explain this is that perhaps Bethesda isn't developing their own new IP, but instead struck a deal with a third party to build off of an already existing franchise. This is done quite often. EA got a deal with Disney to acquire the Star Wars license to build a game off of that, for instance. And this concept isn't entirely foreign to Bethesda either. Remember, Bethesda didn't even create the Fallout franchise. They bought the rights to it. And back in around 2010, Bethesda received an offer from the people behind the Game of Thrones TV show slash Song of Ice and Fire book series. They wanted to have Bethesda make a game for them based off of their world. Ultimately, Bethesda turned them down so they can continue working on their own medieval fantasy game, The Elder Scrolls V. However, I should say that the Game of Thrones IP wasn't a quarter as popular back seven years ago in 2010 as it is now, and if it was, there's a pretty good chance we would have been playing a very different Skyrim. Some sort of third-party deal would also help explain the very strange decision by Bethesda to work on a game that's not Elder Scrolls or Fallout related. Fallout 4 was Bethesda's best-selling game ever. Skyrim was Bethesda's best-selling game until Fallout 4 came along. So why divert resources and time from these two very very financially successful franchises in order to work on not one, but two new ones that might not be nearly as profitable. I can understand Bethesda working on one new franchise. They want to diversify a bit and are willing to take the risk to hopefully create a new intellectual property that could be as successful as their other two big ones. But adding in another franchise to be released directly after that seems almost a bit reckless and only detracts resources and could even delay The Elder Scrolls VI, which may very well be Bethesda's most highly anticipated game of all time after it's announced. It hardly makes sense to produce one new IP at this time if I'm being honest, much less two. But a deal with a third party to work on another already established and already popular IP could explain that risk and why Bethesda hasn't trademarked anything yet. But this leaves the question, what if there is no third party deal? What new RPG franchise could Bethesda really be working on at this point? Well, spoiler alert, I have absolutely no idea. They have already seen massive success with the medieval fantasy genre thanks to the Elder Scrolls. So producing another medieval set game wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Sense. Additionally, Fallout 4 covers the post-apocalyptic setting, and Starfield, should its sources be legitimate, would likely entertain a more space-slash-futuristic sort of environment. Steampunk is pretty unlikely too, as Bethesda publishes the Dishonored franchise. If Bethesda were to publish a game with any of these sorts of settings, they'd only really be competing with themselves, so it wouldn't make a lot of financial sense. However, at the same time, these environments, medieval fantasy, post-apocalyptic, space, steampunk, they're the most popular RPG environments we see games set in. So this puts Bethesda, and by association us, 
us in a very difficult predicament if we're trying to speculate on what else Bethesda could be working on. But we can still damn well do our best. RPGs traditionally take place during times of great turmoil. The Elder Scrolls is filled with wars, Daedra coming out of what is essentially hell, and world-eating dragons. Fallout takes place after a very literal nuclear holocaust. Up uh, should rumors be believed, Starfield will likely have some sort of interplanetary warfare going on, and I can't really envision Bethesda going into any well-documented realistic setting that would limit their creative ability. Like, a Bethesda World War II or Wild West game, or even a modern sort of Bethesda environment, would seem a little bit far-fetched to me. This leaves a very small number of possibilities for what type of world Bethesda is left to develop, in my opinion. I suppose some sort of primitive-slash-primordial game could work. We've seen games successfully employ this setting-slash-time period in the past. Games like, this will trigger some people, Ark Survival Evolved, which, to be fair, is not an RPG nor entirely primitive-based, but did do well with some primitive elements. Up uh, Far Cry Primal tried out this setting as well, though it didn't really do nearly as good critically, but I'd more or less chalk that up to a Ubisoft problem rather than a setting problem. But no matter the environment or the setting, it's safe to say what everybody probably is already assuming. This game will likely be fictional and take place during a very, quote, tense time period. But with our lack of information, it's really difficult to be sure of anything. Altogether, I think a third-party deal is beginning to sound probable, and there's only a couple of possible settings for Bethesda to pursue should that not be the case. But maybe I'm just not that creative. So I ask that question to you guys. What do you think Bethesda could be working on? Primitive stuff sort of seems to fit in my opinion, and I have trouble thinking of anything else. But on that note, we're gonna wrap up. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, a like rating is always very much appreciated. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tinder, Snapchat, all that good stuff, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody.